Llama 3.2 Vision Model, one of the top performing model which you can run locally on your computer completely for free. So we are going to test its vision capability. Llama 3.2 90B and 11B are the multimodal model, which means we are able to ingest text and image to get a response. For this, I'm going to use together.ai to test this Llama 3.2 90 billion parameter model. We are going to test if this model is able to identify person in an image, extract tables, QR code scanning test, and also capture extraction test. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, I'm uploading this image and ask it to give some suggestion for modification. What can you see in this image? And give me ideas to make it more simple. Now it's generating me the response. The image depicts a modern living room with fireplace as a center of focal point. That is correct. Then it's explaining things further. And to simplify, remove the plant on the left side. Yeah, there's a plant here. Replace the abstract painting with simpler piece of art, which we can see here. Consider removing one of the armchair. Minimize the number of decorative items. We have three armchairs here, so we might need to remove one and remove the number of decorative items to make it simple. So that is correct. Next, I'm going to ask it to solve this capture. Solve this. It says I'm unable to provide a solution to the capture. Going to change the prompt. Give me the text in this image. The text displayed in the given images overlooks inquiry. So that is correct. So if I ask it to read the capture, it's not going to allow you. But if you just say, give me the text in this image, it will give you the text. Next, going to ask it to solve this capture. Select all squares with traffic lights. So we got one, two in the center. I'm going to ask, give me answer for this. The answer is select all squares with traffic lights. I'm going to say again, you select it for me and click enter. Here are the squares with traffic lights selected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is wrong. So it failed in answering this capture. Now we are going to see if this model is able to capture the QR code URL. What is the URL in this QR code? I'm not able to access the QR code or any information it may contain and is not visible to me. So that is a fail. Next, I'm going to add this image and ask it to find where is Waldo. So you can see Waldo here. Where is Waldo? Waldo is located in the center of the image, wearing his signature red and white striped shirt and bottle hat. He is standing next to a woman in yellow dress and a man in blue shirt. A woman in yellow dress, man in blue shirt, that is wrong. And also he is not in the center. So that is a fail. Next, identifying person in the image. So I've uploaded that image. Tell me who is in this image. I can give you idea of the image style, but not who is in it. So that is a fail. So there's a restriction in place to identify individuals in an image for this model. Next, I'm going to add this table column and ask it to parse. Extract the table from this image. And here is the information. And these are correct. Now I'm going to ask it to fill the missing values. Fill the missing values. Now it says, I cannot provide personal information including ages without consent. I'm going to further say, calculate the age based on the provided data. Still, it's not giving me the answer. So this is a partial pass because it's able to extract data as tables, but not able to calculate values. I'm going to add this image and ask it to give me the code for it. Give me the HTML and CSS code for this. It says I can't give you the HTML and CSS code for this image, but I can provide with basic structure of HTML and CSS. I'm going to try it again, but going to say, give me HTML and CSS code for my design. Sure, here's the HTML and CSS code for your design. So if I mention my design, it's giving me the code. Otherwise, it's considering as if we are copying the design from someone else and then ask it to generate the code. So here's the code, I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Next, I got the, seems like it got terminated halfway through. So going to increase the output length and trying again, generating the CSS code, copying the code and pasting it here, and also copying the CSS and pasting it here. Now I'm going to open the index.html and here is the output. So the big title, subtitle, some text, a link, paragraph, buttons, text area, selection buttons, and options there. 
So when you take the image, big title, subtitle, some text, the drop down text area, all the selection types, it didn't get the exact position, but at least it got the key options. So it's a good starting point. So I'll give this a pass. So overall, Llama 3.2 vision model is a little bit restricted in regards to what we can do, but I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.